So when we talk about behavior, we often refer to the ABCs, the antecedent behavior and the consequence. I'm looking at that three term contingency as to giving us information on the function of the behavior um, and the consequence and you know what's really going on around the behavior. There is another really important thing to consider when looking at the ABCs of behavior and that's called the setting event. Um, what the setting event means is what, what happened before that may affect this three term contingency. So setting events could be things like not sleeping well or being hungry or being in a bad mood for whatever reason. Um, you know, very often we have kids who may come from, you know, homes where it isn't so stable and they're coming in in the morning, they're coming in already in a setting event. And there's sometimes very little that we can do because um, anything we present them with all of a sudden becomes the antecedent for a challenging behavior. So that's what we mean by setting event. If their morning didn't go well and they're already coming to you in some sort of, you know, triggered place. Um, you know, oftentimes Shira mentioned, um, you know, a set one setting event could be being hungry and, you know, nothing in the world is going to change that except for food. So, you know, you can have, you know, your functions of behavior, you can go through the escape, the attention, tangible sensory, what have you, but your kid is just hungry. Um, so you need to recognize that too. So, you know, if you've got, you know, a child who is, or an individual doesn't need to be a child, it could be an adult who, um, you know, is engaging in negative behavior, really ask yourself, you know, is there something else going on besides those four functions of behavior? And if that's the case, get them what they need. So, you know, sometimes just putting a granola bar in their mouth could be enough to, um, you know, help decrease negative behavior. Um, oftentimes I get hangry and the function of my behavior is because I'm hangry, I'm hungry, I need to eat. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, we've all experienced it as well, sleep. You know, if we haven't slept well, we are grouchy. She was pointing to me specifically. <laughs> um, you know, we, yes, absolutely. My tolerance is a lot lower when I haven't slept. So consider that with the individuals you're working with. If they haven't slept well, then they're going to be grouchy, probably. Um, you know, parents, if you're doing parent coaching and, you know, sometimes we'll do parent coaching on sleeping, um, you know, and their kids have been up at night. Well, if their kids have been up at night, guess who else has been up at night? Um, parents, right? So making sure that you consider that when you are doing parent coaching and offering that parent support, that they may not be taking in all the information because of that um, sleep deprivation. Um, and that's a setting event as well. Um, you know, another setting event that isn't talked about all the time is screen time. Um, how many of your kiddos get so much screen time? Um, and again, no judgment because, you know, I'm a parent and I give my kids screen time probably a lot more than they should get. Um, but at the same time, I'm just looking in terms of our learners and if they're engaging in negative behavior, could it be because they're getting too much screen time and their brain is reenacting a video game or their, their brain is somewhere else? Um, not that that's observable and measurable, but that is a real thing. Yeah, but it's also important when you're looking at intervening on the behavior that there's more to the child than those three term contingencies. And you have to really look at the big picture. Um, and it may take, you know, take a step back and look at the whole family. Was there just, you know, a new child born? Do they have a new sibling? Is there a disruption to the family? Are the parents going through something within, within the household? Um, and looking at those things almost as setting events, because if you're only focused on those three term contingencies of behavior, you're, you may not really get to the root cause. So you may still go forward with an FBA once there is a setting event, but it is important to take that into account because the, the individuals that we work with come from you know, more backgrounds than, than what we can see um, in the, the ABCs of behavior. Absolutely. And sometimes, you know, if there is a clear setting event that is triggering the negative behavior, sometimes just changing that setting event is all you need. You don't need an elaborate FBA and you don't need an elaborate plan if you can say, hey, you know what, let me help you put your child to bed a little bit earlier, or let me help you see how we can teach your child to eat a variety of foods so that they can get a more nutritious breakfast.